Hi, today we're going to talk about forms again. If you've struggled with adding server validation to your forms, that's really common. It's a tricky topic until you understand what steps you need to take on the form page and what steps you need to take on the action page, the page that the form submits to. Take the time to watch this tutorial and all the steps will come together for you. For my example, I'm going to add validation to the credit card section of my eCart checkout form but you can follow these steps on any existing form that posts to another page. You do not have to use eCart. You will need to use Databridge in order to follow along as Databridge offers the nifty server validations to complete this series of steps without any hand coding. To get started, open your form and add the error messages you want to display, formatted however you want to display them. Simple red text alerts next to each field will suffice. Now we're going to open our action page, the page that um, the form submits to. Then come over to your bindings panel. If this panel isn't open already, you can open it by clicking on window in the Dreamweaver menu and, and uh, bindings. Click the plus sign and we're going to use this tool that Databridge um, and free tools also includes this um, called form data. and we'll select the form that's submitting to this action page. Mine is checkout. Click OK. And you can see over in the bindings window that this added the forms. Um, in my case, there were two forms on the checkout page. This added them over here so that these bindings will now be accessible to this page. Next, we're going to add the server validation server behavior. So click on the Server Behaviors panel, click Plus, Web Assist, Validation, Server Validations. We can leave the trigger as any form post. The first field um, that I want to validate is the credit card field, the credit card number. So under Validation Type, I'm going to click Credit Card Number. And for the server variable, I click the lightning bolt. And under the eCart checkout form, that I added, we can select credit card number. Click OK. And then click the plus button and you can choose which type of credit cards you want it to validate for. Click OK. Next I will validate the CVV code. So under validation type, I'm going to click required not blank. For the server variable, I will select CVV from the checkout form, click OK, and click the plus button. And I'm not going to allow spaces. I will click OK. And for the failed redirect, we want to send people back to the checkout form. Go ahead and click OK. And save your page. Now let's go back to the form page and we're going to add show if statements on these validation messages we added. So go ahead and highlight your error message down below or in code view. You may want to select span or div or whatever you put these error messages in if they're not just text. Then come over to the server behaviors window and click the plus button. We're going to come down to web assist validation and use the validation show if server behavior. The validation page is our confirm page, the action page. Select the credit card field because that's if the credit card field fails, that's when we want to show uh, this error message. Click the plus and click OK. Now you can repeat the same thing for our CVV error message. Select the text. I need to select the span. I come over to the server behaviors window, click plus, web assist, validation, 
validation show if. And it had already selected my confirm page for me this time. Under validations fail, I'm going to click required, and you can see this was the CVV one. Click the plus button and click OK. Now you can see that my show if server behaviors were added to the page. I'll go ahead and save. We'll take a look at how this works in a browser. So here is my checkout form. This is the area that we added validation to. Of course, you'll want to add it to the rest of your form, um, but I'm not going to take you through every individual uh, field uh, one by one because you can repeat the process that we've been through. Um, so let's go ahead and fill it out. We'll leave the credit card type visa for the credit card number. I'm going to put in a fake number. And for the expiration, we'll pick December 2015. Let's not enter a CVV code and see our validation appear. And you can see there's my message that I didn't enter my CVV code. But you'll notice a problem. It lost all of my entries. We had entered a credit card number and we had entered the month and the year and those were not saved. So if we want to save those, we need to enter an initial value um, for each of these fields back in Dreamweaver. So let's go back to Dreamweaver, click on the credit card number field and down in the property inspector under initial value, click the lightning bolt. We are going to use the validated entries on the confirm page as um, what we want to store for this value so that when this page loads again, the validated entries um, will be what display. So go ahead and select credit card number from the validated entries and click OK. For the CVV code, we're going to do the same thing. Now select lists are slightly different. Go ahead and click on credit card type and down in the property inspector, click the dynamic button. And where it says select value equal to, that's where we're gonna click the lightning bolt and um, go ahead and select credit card type from the validated entries. Click okay. Let's do expiration month next. And one thing to note with expiration month, if you do do your expiration month um, or some sort of numeric field um, in a select list, you want the value to not have a leading zero. So while your label, what the end user sees can be zero, one, zero, two, zero, three, you want your value just to be one, two, three, as PHP tends to strip that leading zero um, and then things sometimes don't match up. So go ahead and click OK. And expiration year will be the last one we do. Okay, go ahead and click save and let's go back to the browser. Okay, so this time we're going to put some entries in here. We'll do, um, let's say March 2014, leave that CVV code blank so that it won't validate and we can see our entries being held. Go ahead and click checkout. And what do you know? It's stored a credit card number and March 2014. So that's working. Um, if we want to see it uh, go through, just enter a CVV code and click checkout. And you can see it made it to our confirm page without errors. So you can go ahead and repeat those steps for whatever fields are on your page that you'd like to validate and you're on your way. 
As always, if you need any help with this tutorial, please visit us at www.webassist.com.